Well, I'm stoked from SFE Leadworks. Welcome to the next job. That's kind of looks here it's all about. Okay, so here we are. So we've got this capping to do to this front portico and shelf detail as well. Just finished setting up this tower scaffold with the help of a lovely carpenter. I've never done this on my own. Not on a step like that. I didn't even know, to be honest, that you could actually rig them like that. So uh, that carpenter has definitely got me out of trouble today. Um, it's very, very, very kind of him. So we'll get up there and see what's going on. Okay, so we're on the top here now. So what we've got to do, we've got this shelf detail to go on here. And we're gonna replace this cap in as well. Um, spoken to the builder, he wants to keep the back flashing in. But what we'll have to do is take out that vertical step and the flashing on top of that cap in there as well. Um, shame really, makes sense probably to to uh, change that back flashing as well, but I haven't got that in, that in there price, I don't think. So I have to keep that intact. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna lift all this up, but I'm gonna keep it in place. So that it's still gonna be weathering for the time being. So what I'll do is I'll just cut the corners, I'll cut these corners, fold all this flat, um, we sweep all this snow off, and then start getting some measurements set out where these welts are going to go for this shelf detail. Start putting that through. Just cut these corners. I've folded up all this capping now. Just mark where all my welts are going to go as well. I'm going to have a weld down on that corner there. You can see there, that's where my, my first welt is. I've done exactly the same on the other side there. Weld on the corner and then come back about 450 from the corner. I've got a welt there. Then I just took a measurement from the centre of that welt to the centre of that welt and divided them equally. Mark those welts out in the middle there. And then we're just gonna have one panel on the end there and then another panel on that side there. So right, so now I'm just gonna start making up these these sections and getting this on. Okay, so that's all that shelf all in place now. I've got all the welts all set in as well. So now that's all on, what I've done, I've already oiled the underside of that lead. All that's just been oiled. So what I'm going to do now is get all that front edge down and get that trimmed when I'm welding. Okay, so that's all that front edge all dressed down now. It's all trimmed up as well. I've got the corners mitered ready for welding. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to take all this existing capping off so it's a bit easier to access. Get all that taken off. Then we get all these mitres and these corners welded up. Then we can start looking at welding some clips on and setting out this capping. Okay, so that's all those mitres all welded up now. I've just welded the, the gussets on the far end as well. As you can see, just taken off all that existing capping now. So that's all off. And I've also set out all my welts are gonna go for this top capping and welded all the clips on as well. So what I've basically done, so I'm going to have a welt bang in the centre of these two welts on the shelf underneath and then I've just put a clip bang in the middle from the centre of that welt to the centre of that welt and just copied that process. So now all that's all on and ready, let's, uh, let's get this capping on. Well it's now the next day um, and the lovely owner is just giving me a nice cup of coffee. I think I'm definitely going to need it today because right now in the UK it is so cold. And as you can see that little focus, yes, yeah, minus five. So we drink this coffee and get out and see where we're at. Okay, so that's all that capping on there now. So what I'm going to do next is just finish off setting in these welts. I've already done the two end ones, that one's done there. On that one as well. So we get these these welts set in, then we can look at getting these edges turned down, trimmed, ready for welding the gussets in. Okay, so I'm just going to dress this inside edge down now. So it's very very tight in here, so I'm not sure how much that you're going to be able to see. I've got the camera as good as I, as I can in this little tight area, but I'm going to get all this dressed down in now.
something because it's quite rounded and it's on asphalt as well. So it's a little bit, you know, just a little bit bumpy here and there where they played the asphalt. Just keep just it to make sure it doesn't lift. some dress down now so we can get that little trim through and start dressing the outside edge okay so that's that outside edge trimmed up as well now just dressed and trimmed all the clips to 50 mil as well so now that's all done what i'm going to do next just make up all these gussets and get all these gussets welded in right okay so that's all these corners all welded in now. So now these corners are all welded in. What I'm going to do next, I'm just going to put a fixing point on these sections here, just to stop that from any potential lift. I mean, it's pretty, it is pretty good, but there is movement there. So I'll get a fixing in there and just weld a circle over. Do that on that side. Same again on that corner there. Then we can look at getting these flashings in. Okay, so that's these flashings done as well now. Just put a bit of vertical step in first, down through here. Then we just got a bit of step flashing on the top there. Just step that in round on that side as well. So that's that one done. Exactly the same on this side. So now that's those flashings done, the only thing I've got to do now, I'm going to point that in with a bit of lead sealant, give it all another coat of oil, have a tidy up, and that'll be the job done. Okay, so that's all pointed in now, also just tidied everything up, just giving it all another coat of patination oil as well. So that is the job done. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can check me out on Instagram at SFB Networks. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hopefully, catch you in the next. Cheers.